maybe a little less under the counter when it comes to buying them now. So News Channel 3 reporter Senator De Los Santos is live outside of a cigar shop in Santa Barbara with more. Senator Ray. Yeah, that's right, Joey. I'm at the Santa Barbara Cigar and Tobacco Shop on Figueroa. Joining me now is owner Matthew Lanfor. Matthew, just talk to me about what this means for business with this new relationship with Cuba. Well, I think it's, I think it's still going to have to be ironed out, but in the long run, I think it's going to be good for business. I think that uh, there'll be an increased interest in cigars overall, and uh, especially when, when uh, the Cuban cigars hit the stores, it'll, be, uh, it'll create a lot of excitement. Yeah. Talk to me, you were saying earlier about the supply over in Cuba and the demand here. Yeah, that's going to be the hardest thing. Um, it's going to take quite a while before uh, cigar stores in the United States have a large supply of cigars because Cuba can only produce so much. Um, it's, the demand will far exceed the supply. All right, Matthew, thank you so much for joining us. Again, a new relationship with Cuba. He, Matthew, you heard here, said it would be very exciting for his customers that come in. Um, he also sent me a little gift to be on the way. It is coffee flavor. We'll have much more coming up with the news in 5 and 6. For now, I'm live um, at the Santa Barbara uh, Cigar and Tobacco Shop on Figueroa. Senator De Los Santos, News Channel 3. All right, a lot of people happy about that, right? Yeah, still going to wait Bring me while, that right? cigar. <laughs>